So I did a video um, yesterday talking about prosperity preaching. Um, and then I played it back and I realized that it was picking up my air conditioner and my RV a little bit loud and had pretty much drowned out what I was saying. So I decided to redo it. So basically what I'm asking people who follow prosperity preachers, preachers that say God wants you rich, uh, Jesus wants you to you know, be super financially prosperous. Um, the question I have for people who do believe that, pros that type of preaching is what do we do with the incident when Jesus spoke with the rich young ruler? who came to him and asked what he had to do to be saved. And Jesus said to follow his commandments. And he said, these I've done since my youth. And Jesus said, then you have one thing left to do. Sell everything you own and follow me. And the rich young ruler left sad. And so Jesus then turned to his disciples and said, it is easier for a camel to go through the eye of a needle than for a rich man to enter the gates of heaven. Um, so, Jesus was crucified, beaten. I mean, he went through some really horrible stuff that I can't even visualize because it breaks my heart all over again. Um, to make it, to reconnect us with the Father in heaven. And now you think that he wants to make it more difficult again for you by financially prospering you and putting you right into the same spot as the rich young ruler. Why would he do that? Why would you believe that? And I've, I've, I don't understand how anyone believes it. I don't understand how some of my favorite pastors that I've seen fall into this deception. I don't understand how they believed it. I, I'm, I'm a little confused. But if you're someone who is falling for that deception, you need to ask yourself that. Why would Jesus want things to be harder for you? It is easier for a camel to go through the eye of a needle than a rich man to enter the gates of heaven. Think about it. Prayers and hugs, guys.